Unified Diagnostic Services and uh, today we are going to see what is uh, data interface or DIDs. These are part of data transmission functional unit and data parameter definitions and the data parameter definitions DIDs are given. The data identifiers are um, you know unique uh, numbers or unique IDs given to internal uh, signals or uh, internal variables or some data of the ECU and that unique numbers are called as data identifiers and that will be you know mapped to n number of signals available inside the ECU. If you are happen to you know work as part of a diagnostic tester and if you want to read a particular signal from the tester to the server, the request has been made with reference to these DIDs. These data identifiers can be classified into two types, a predefined DIDs and a dynamically defined data identifiers. Before getting into you know this classification, DID itself can have you know one particular ID is reference to one particular signal or one particular data. It could be one by two by data something like that, or it can be you know reference to a n number of signals or n number of data clubbed like a array structure like that. So that means. DID is a number which reference to a single signal or multiples of signals grouped under one particular unique ID. And if you happen to work in a you know, development of diagnostic uh, stack development and if your requirements are derived from UDS spec then you also understand when you talk to your customer there are different type of requirements coming from customer and from you know other legislative requirement like OBD2 uh, data identifiers, uh, vehicle manufacturer specific DIDs or some you know supplier specific DIDs also you can define in the ECU and each of the signal or each of the data will have unique IDs. I will take you through all this in the next slides. And if the number is given to a particular signal and the number is referenced with that particular signal, then that is called as predefined DID. So a DID number corresponding to that particular signal or a DID which correspond to a particular unique ID which consists of n number of predefined signal in a particular position then it is called as predefined DIDs and what do you mean by dynamically defined DIDs? The dynamically defined DIDs unlike uh, predefined DIDs, you can have one unique number as DID. Under this, you can mix and match the signals and you can set this DID to the server for the help of diagnostic tester. When you read it back, then it will provide the way the signals which you want to see in the diagnostic tested. So what is the purpose of doing such you know, signal reading back with your choice or the choice of the you know, engineer who is working in the service location because you might be you know want to see some n number of signals which are relevant to a particular problem and you want to observe before making any decision. So in such cases the predefined DADs are you know already fixed position uh, DADs which is, will not be possible to you know see the signals which he wants to see for the given uh, problem. Instead dynamically defined DADs allows the technician or the service engineer to you know get his own signal as part of uh, tester and view those signals so that he can easily you know diagnose the problem. This is an example of a you know, predefined DID. 
so, so for example this is i think a part of uh, some bosch diagnostic tester screen so these are fixed you know dids uh, a particular you know data is been called from the server to display to the technician diagnostic tester screen this is a predefined kind of dids take an example of this handle tool which is a small you know display area and if it is a you know predefined uh, read data by identifier kind of situation where the, the dids are predefined then you are only allowed to have only four signals and these four signal out of four maybe two or three might not be relevant to that particular problem what the diagnostic you know engineer or the service engineer or the technician might be looking at then uh, there is a possibility of regrouping these uh, signals uh, with the different uh, signals with the help of dynamically defined defined data identifiers so this is one of the software diagnostic tester software where you see in the background that is dynamically defined uh, sorry data defined predefined data identifiers but the screen layout can be changed with the help of the foreground signal selection so if you are you now having n number of signals here which are already defined in the uh, server and by clicking or selecting this signal and you apply this then you will have a screen which will be you know looks like this where it will be available for the technician with whatever the signals he wants okay so there are two parts here one thing is if you are happen to work on the diagnostic you know stack development as a part of ecu server then the mapping of the signal with corresponding to a unique number uh, which are uh, obd2 specific or which are you know vehicle manufacturer specific or supplier specific these kind of you know implementation is supposed to happen as part of data identifiers and data identifier also has a requirement in terms of size of the identifier as well as uh, in the next session we will discuss on scaling parameter every signal will have a kind of a formula a unit uh, for the given uh, signal and some other uh, uh, multiplication division kind of a scaling factor associated with each of the signal that is also discussed in coming session so every signal uh, as part of you know ecu diagnostic has a unique id which are agreed with the you know uh, oem and these signals are given once you are configuring all this as part of your software list and the documentation is updated based on these signals and this signal list is given to the you know oem and oem decides you know how to effectively use this signal as part of you know diagnostic tester implementation so in the diagnostic tester implementation with the help of the did number and with of the scaling byte uh, information then every data which is read by read data by identifier then the scaling information and the formula unit and all that is applied on the individual signal then you will have the physical value available for the tester to look at for any kind of a symptom or any kind of a you know troubleshooting okay these are uh, part of uds specification if you happen to see the uds uh, spec you will see all these data is available as part of the spec and every this unique value is called as identifier and there is a range of identifier you know defined for periodic data identifier ddid and obd2 data identifiers and uh, there is something called edr this, this we will also look at the later stage uh, event data recorder so this is a kind of a black box for uh, automotive vehicle inside so this will keep on record some important information events happening in the vehicle bus and this will be always available for any kind of a future you know data verification in the event of some 
unwanted things happening in the vehicle yeah with this we have come to a conclusion of uh, did data identifiers and we discussed both on you know predefined dids and as well as dynamically defined data identifier thank you and uh, hope this information is useful to you and your time is invested well here thank you and see you again bye